Yeah, I'd make a lot of people happy because it's such a unique uh, logo. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, I mean, it just kind of goes to the, the spirit of, uh, uh, you know, a wild hog, and it's just different. And so uh, Honey Yurchek knows this, and that's why the, the, the tweet yesterday, and um, it would be really fun to have it. I mean, I don't know, you know, would it stay out there for a long time? Uh, what would its permanence be? We don't know. but. It would still be fun if they wound up doing that. For those that don't know, I probably should state beforehand that Arkansas fans, if you match a $500,000 pledge by Monday, August, there's uh, not August, October the 7th, this upcoming Monday, by 5 o'clock, then there's going to be another donation made that matches that, and the Slobbering Hog is going to be on the court this basketball season. Tom, jumping into the, the football game this weekend, I, I know we kind of had a, a joke earlier, if, if Arkansas gets smacked around this weekend and people move on to basketball season i'm hoping it's not what, what have you picked up from Pittman this week i know injury wise has been a key especially at the tight end position but what's your sense about sam Pittman heading into this game come saturday night well from the big picture standpoint he likens this game it's a night game to you know texas a few years ago the circumstances are different that was game i think game two after they hadn't played very well against rice and and then they had a great performance they just laid it out there. I mean, everyone was bought in. Uh, they believed in their game plan, and, and they ran the ball on Texas. And so he'd like to see the same emotion, you know, the emotional uh, support and, and you know, in a game kind of taking a, a full a flow where the stadium kind of takes over the other team. Um, now, Texas was number 15 and hadn't had a – a ton of success, pretty new, pretty new under Sark. I think that was his first season. So this is a different deal. You know, Josh Heupel in year four, um, Tennessee is ranked number one in total defense and number three in total offense. Um, and you say, well, they did that against Chattanooga and they did that against Kent State. Yeah, well, they also did it against North Carolina State. And they pretty much dominated that game against Oklahoma. So they're a legit team on both sides of the ball can present problems to you. So Arkansas is going to have to play, in my opinion, they're going to have to play outside what their kind of norm has been. I mean, and and they've, they've done some pretty good things. Their third down conversions have been good. Their rushing has been good. But protecting Taylor hasn't been great. So I think they have to go beyond their previous performance levels to have a chance in this game. And obviously can't turn the ball over the way they've been. Now that, that's what I want to ask you about next. This has been a... Uh, a two and a half, three turnover per game ball club. How many can you afford on, say, twelve possessions? That's about about average. How many of those can you can you give away with a turnover, even turnovers on downs against that defense, and have a chance in the fourth quarter to be in the game? Well, yeah, that's a great question, and, and then maybe maybe one is the most you can afford to do. Um, and it could be it could be you can't afford to turn the ball over because how many times are you going to? forced takeaways i mean outside the auburn game this defense even though i think the, the numbers are good the, the total numbers particularly against the run are pretty good they just haven't been a ball hawking type team except versus auburn so um they've got a way to they've got to find a way to put a helmet on a ball um and punch a ball out and and things like that because it just hasn't been the case and they might have to steal a possession or two or you know, or fake something in the kicking game to uh, to steal a possession to have a chance to win. Well, that, that's interesting you bring that up because I wonder how many wrinkles you can throw at an opponent when you twice fake the previous week, one successful, one unsuccessful. <laughs> so since you put that on film last week against A&M, are you, are you going to be even able to, to attempt a, a possible fake in special teams? Well, that's the thing. When you've done that, then the next week, that opponent knows that it's on your mind. Heighten alert. And they yeah. studied, exactly, they studied what you did against A&M and what didn't work. And uh, and, and it's just going to be on alert for that. So it, 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 it would be harder, certainly. I mean, the whole Devin Bale rolling out for the pot potential rugby kick and some guys turning their backs on him and him taking off, that's just not going to happen now. So you have to do it in some other way. And, um, and and so you're right. You might not be able to even try one on, in special teams, or it could backfire. 
Talking with Tom Murphy here on a Thursday. He's with Whole Hog Sports and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Tom, I know you had a chance to catch up with Joshua Braun this week, and he talked about we've got to give Kalen and the guys a chance to make plays. We saw last year outside of the Florida game, you just didn't see a lot of offensive improvement. Has this offensive line reached its ceiling, or could you see them getting better in the next seven games to give the Arkansas offense some some fighting chances against SEC opponents? No, by no means have they reached their ceiling. I mean, that, that that's the thing with every football team, right? Each week you're striving to improve on the mistakes you made the week before and just, just being together more. I mean, th- three of these guys are, are starters and four of them, um, well, four of the guys are new starters. Three weren't even, weren't even in the program last year. So you're going to continue to improve. Your communication has got to get better. And that's – Braun is a – I tell you, Braun is a powerhouse in terms of being a, a, a positive factor mm-hmm. for that offense. And to me, you know, the, the post-game thing with Taylor even solidified it further. Um, and if they – look, some of those plays, yeah, there was early pressure and all that. But as Sam Pittman pointed out, um, Carmona took his man on the, on the last offensive play – 11 yards deep. And so, you know, Taylor has to recognize where he is in the pocket as well. He got a little bit too deep when he was trying to escape the pocket. Um, and that allowed um, Nick uh, Skowerton to, to get a strip sack back there. Um, and so it all, it all fits hand in glove. Where you, where do you need to be in the pocket? Where are you trying to take the rushers? Um, and Taylor playing with confidence, because I think in the second quarter that, that was about the most rival we've seen Taylor this year was in the second quarter last week. So we got the injury report for Arkansas. A couple guys out, including Jalen Braxton and Mikel Mitchell in the secondary. Two tight ends listed as questionable, and Washington has Andres Pushka is also doubtful for this game. Uh, Hudson Clark's probable. Uh, not a lot on the other side, though, Tom, for, for Tennessee. They look like they're pretty healthy coming off this bye heading to Fayetteville. Yeah, they really do. And, of course, Rodney Hill was the big – uh, you know, the big surprise, I suppose, because I'm not sure if something happened late in that game that I, that I missed or if something happened in practice this week that I believe he was listed as, as out. And so um, that was certainly push up uh, Braylon Russell and possibly Rashad Dubinion being back in the mix because um, the, the hits that Jaquindon Jackson has taken, it's hard to go the whole game. You, you want him to be fresher later in the game, and they really do have to establish the – some semblance of a running game to, to maybe sl- slow the clock a little bit, slow Tennessee's big time offense down to have a shot to win. Yeah, Tom, uh, we'll, we'll close out on this for you know for, for this program right now, needing to get to a bye week. Um, it, it, it seems like you know, we've seen in, in previous times under Brett Bielema, we've seen it under Sam Pittman. Heading into that bye week, it kind of goes one way or the other. There's not much of an in between when you look at the final outcome of a ball game. What are you expecting Saturday? A team that's, you know, really thirsty for the, for the break and, and needs to get healthy and, and the, this one gets away? Or do you think they're going to fight their way into the bye week? Yeah, it's tough to envision exactly how it's going to play out because there are so many factors like turnovers and field position or special teams that play into it. But uh, I do expect a pretty relentless effort from Tennessee coming off a of bye week. They're really tough on both sides of the ball. Um, Arkansas has got to do something to have ball control. Um, I suspect they're going to be, they're really going to fight in this game. Um, if they get overwhelmed by Tennessee's, um, um, uh, talent, you know, that's the big question. Um, like I said, I think they're going to have to play outside their norm a little bit. Um, but you can't put your pre- the pressure on yourselves to do that. So it's a fine line. Uh, they got to stick with what they can do, do well. Hopefully, hope they get a few turnovers and give themselves a shot. Win the coin toss and squat on the ball. That's my plan this week. <laughs> They're like 78-3 yep. to three in the first quarter. I don't. I just don't even let them have the ball. That wouldn't be a bad game plan to take the ball on the kickoff and win the toss. And then squat on it. <laughs> you know, just, just, yeah. just run the clock out. 
Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.